So what is up guys? This is Nick here from Everything Tech and welcome to this Huawei Ascend XT speed test video. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with what the Huawei Ascend XT is, I did an unboxing of this video or this guy and you can go ahead and check that down below in the comment section or not the comment section, but the description area or up here in a card. So here is the Huawei Ascend XT. Let me flip it around here. This is basically a six inch monster of an Android device. I'm going to go ahead and boot this off to begin with the startup test and the speed test. But this is a six inch Android from Huawei, the third largest smartphone maker in the world, right behind Apple and Samsung. And they're very popular in China. But what you get here is a six inch Android phone with Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow, Snapdragon 616 CPU, which is an octa-core CPU with the lower powered cores from Qualcomm, not the higher powered. So it did boot off. Let's go ahead and boot this guy up. And this does have two GBs of RAM. GB stands for gigabytes of RAM, random access memory for loading, multitasking, and things of that nature, as well as holding more graphically intensive games in the background. We do have a Adreno 405 GPU, which is a rather budget GPU for smartphones, but hey, it's better than like the 305 that we had last year and some of the Snapdragon 400 series CPUs. So what that means is that the devices are getting better in terms of the speed when it comes to these GPU or gaming processing units here. So here we are in the Huawei Ascend XT. It's still booting up. So it's about a 30 to 40 second boot up time. Not too shabby for a, let's say, a $50 smartphone. I paid $50 for this on Black Friday. So this is a $50 smartphone. Let me go ahead and close everything out here. And um, I will be reviewing this guy soon, but this is just a speed test today. Let me go into the about phone section. You can see a motion UI or short for EM UI 4.1 with Android version 6.0.1 Marshmallow. Now I love marshmallows. Don't you love some marshmallows? Don't you like to cook those babies over the stove? Get them all crispy and burnt up like that? Yeah. This runs Marshmallow here on this device. Let me go ahead and close out that notification. And what we're gonna begin with is a speed test of more basic applications. So I lined them up here. So let's do that right now. And we're just gonna go through them and then we're gonna go through these guys, which are third-party applications and then some games down here. So let's do that now. Everything is closed out. Let's get into it. Calendar, let's come out. Let's go into calculator. Let's come out, let's go into clock. Let's come out of there, let's go into camera. That already, did that open? Okay, now it opened. So that was a little bit slow on the camera. So the camera is not the quickest in the world. Let's go into settings. And by the way, guys, I want to let you know that Huawei does include here on developer options, Huawei does include these um, animation scales lower. They're like this out of the box. So don't I don't want to hear that that crap about, oh, you have the developer options on, blah, 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 all that crap. It's included like that out of the back box. So let me go into the Play Store here. Let that guy load up here on the Huawei Ascent. Come home, let's go on the phone. Let's come out, let's go into messages. Let's come out, let's go into weather. Let's come out and we'll do these testings later, but let's run through those one more time to see how they held in the background. Calendar, come out, calculator. Come out, let's go on the clock. Let's come out, let's go on the camera. So you can see performance is very solid here on the Huawei Ascend XT. I mean, two gigabytes of RAM and a Snapdragon 616. I mean, how much processing power do you really need to get the basics done? So over here, we do have some third-party applications now, which I will run through here. Let's begin with Android Central. Let's go in there. Let's come out. Let's go into PyGeek. Let's come out of there. Let's go into YouTube. And let that open up. Let's go ahead and play one of my videos. What is on my Android phone? Go check that one out for December 2016. I show the applications I use. You can see that. Let's go into Twitter. And you can see performing very well here for the Huawei Ascent XT. Let's come out. Let's go into Uber. Let's come out of Uber once it loads up here. Say it allow. Annoying notification, but we're in Uber there. Let's open that one more time. Let's go into Zedge. 
And this is not a scientific test, but I just want to show you how the performance of the Huawei Ascent XT is going to be and another annoying pop-up. But overall, you can see applications fly and zip right on open. Now, I did find a lag in this phone, but it had nothing to do with app opening times. It had to do with when you're downloading applications in the Play Store, this guy does choke up a little bit. So I wouldn't be playing, trying to multitask while you're downloading applications. So let's come out of eBay there. And now let's open up a couple of games, Fruit Ninja. Now I haven't opened these games up yet. So these are some of the first times on these. So it's a fresh install, giving you a fresh performance look at how these games will open. Fruit Ninja, loading up Fruit Ninja. And that six inch screen is going to give you a great multimedia experience if you are going to be playing video games on here. So you can see, we're not gonna play the game all day, but you can see it did take a little bit of time to load up. It wasn't the fastest load times I've ever seen. Let's go into Subway Surfers. Now this is a game that on more you know powerful devices does load a lot faster. I've noticed like on iPhones, like the higher, the higher powered iPhones, like the 6S Plus, the 7 Plus, this game loads extremely fast. So let's see how it does here on the Huawei Ascend XT. Not too shabby so far. I'm kind of liking what I'm seeing here on the load times for the XT. Come on, you can do it, boy, you can do it. Let's get it, let's get it. Come on, come on, come on, boy. So if you got OCD like I do, you might be uh, waiting a little bit to get into the game. But overall, once you start playing, no glitches, no hangs here, so casual games, this phone will handle casual games without breaking its tiny sweat. Now, Blood and Glory did crash, and it crashes every time on here on the XT, so I don't know what's going on with Blood and Glory. You can see a crash and a crash once again. So it, this game, Blood and Glory, if you like playing Blood and Glory, Glory it's, like a, it's like an Infinity Blade kind of game. That crashed every time. Now, let's see how Asphalt 8 does. Let's go into Asphalt 8 and see how that does here. So Asphalt 8 is a more graphically intensive game here for the Huawei Ascend XT by Gameloft. Check them out. They make a ton of games that you might love on your Android device. But let's see how this thing loads up. So, so far, right off the rip, we got, you know, a little bit of a wait here so far. Still loading on the Asphalt 8. So it's starting to show here with these more graphic games that this is definitely a budget class device i mean a flagship device has already been about 20 seconds on this wait time here would have already been in this game playing so i think it's coming on in just a bit here still waiting and let's hit accept yeah this is the first time i'm playing this so let me put in my age here 25 done let's put in mail let's hit accept let's go here Go here, 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 let's hit OK. And let's go ahead and play, see how it plays, see if there's any hangs here. So we're still gonna load up here, Asphalt 8. Just bear with me. We're just gonna play a little bit of Asphalt 8 here for you guys on the Huawei Ascent XT. But you can see this game is gonna be a wait. So if you're gonna be playing these highly graphical games like this game, Asphalt 8, Need for Speed, stuff like that, be ready to have a little bit of patience because you're not going to fly right into these games like you would on a flagship level device, as I have already mentioned. See, this right here is just taking way too long for my patience levels. I don't know about y'all, but this is just too long for my patient levels right here. Still waiting. I'm coming out of this game. We're not even going to play it. It just took way too long to, to load that game up. So, And now, look, we're having a little bit of lag here on going home. You see all that glitch right there? I don't like that. You see, so that's what happens sometimes with a device that it's not gonna cost you flagship level prices. You see all that glitching and hanging right there? You know, Android really needs about four gigs of RAM to run flawless, like pretty much all the time. Um, Apple's two gigabytes of RAM because it's a better optimized phone. But yeah, but I do wanna mention one thing. Vainglory, I did not download Vainglory, the game, but I did wanna show you that you can now send on this device, you can send the games to your internal SD, which is up to 32 gigs, which is not very high for this device, but hey, it's something. At least you can send the games to your external SD on the Huawei Ascend XT. Now what I wanna do really quickly is just show you a speed test, a Wi-Fi speed test to see how this thing pulls in Wi-Fi. Now this doesn't have the AC level Wi-Fi, this is BGNN as most budget devices are, but let's go ahead and begin the test here and see what we get on the download as well as the upload. 
So this is a 720p HD screen. All right, we're getting about 16 megs down, almost 20. That's pretty solid here. What about the upload? Getting about 12, 10 to 12. So not bad. So this guy does pull in pretty good speeds on the Wi-Fi levels here. We're not going to even talk more about that. What about Firefox? Let's go ahead and open up a couple of, you know, websites. So let's go to yahoo.com. Let's open up Yahoo and let's see how it performs. So that wasn't bad at all. So in terms of, you can see scrolling is pretty smooth. No checkerboarding. You do have to wait a little bit, but that's expected. I mean, smartphones aren't PCs. You still got to wait a little bit. Let's go into Techno, Buffalo. Now let's just go to TechCrunch. I just seen TechCrunch. Let's go there. TechCrunch.com. Let's go there. TechCrunch.com. Let's open this website up. So we're waiting a little bit. This must be a more, um, more content-based website. So you can see TechCrunch taking a little bit of time to load. So not extremely blazing fast internet speeds, but I don't see any checkerboarding and no glitching on the whole browser. But this is Firefox, but Firefox on the XT is installed out of the box. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. We can go through the multitasking and show you how it looks here. But um, let's just go into a couple of these before I app up, wrap up this video. So let's go into, I said before I app up this video, thinking about apps too much. So that had to reopen. Let's go into Firefox. That was held in the background. Let's go into Vainglory. That was held in the background. Let's go over into something else. Let's see Subway Surfers. Subway Surfers held pretty well. So it looks like multitasking is not bad. Although this card UI right here is not the smoothest in the world, there is a little bit of a hang frame rate drop in between scrolling through here. So this is not a very super smooth app switching tray. Although it does look pretty if you ask me. And you do have the garbage can to close everything. But that's gonna wrap up this video of the speed test of the Huawei Ascend XT. Um, I did this video because not a lot of people are making videos on the Huawei Ascend XT and I wanna show you what you're kinda gonna get if you decide to pick this guy up for yourself as, as a budget phone. It's a great budget phone and I would highly recommend this if you're looking for a large Android smartphone and you're on a budget. This is an AT&T Go phone. You could use it. You can get this, get it unlocked and use it on other GSM platforms. If you guys enjoyed this video, do me a favor by clicking the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel for more technology videos like this. I got more content coming on the Huawei Ascend XT and a bunch of versus videos with it. And anyways, have a great day wherever you are. Be sure to be well and Peace. Go, go, go.